Hey everybody, and welcome back to some more Shovel Knight with Spiral Sigil. Alright, last time we took on the Mole Knight, now we're gonna go after this random encounter, and then Treasure Knight. Ah, oh, crap, it's in all those stupid dark stages. I hate these things. I was so sick of these after Spectre Knight, and I didn't want to deal with them again. So you can tell, I kind of forgot we had to deal with them again. Just, I don't know, it's, it's a stupid gimmick that makes you, like, you have to play more cautiously in a game... Well, he's dead. It, it, you have to play more cautiously than you would normally be playing, and honestly, I, I don't like it. I don't like that, the fact that that comes up. I, I don't know, I know I'm griping about it, but it was a mechanic that I didn't personally enjoy, and I don't know why they put it in the first damn place. So, blah to everything else, I'm being a whiny bitch about it. Yeah. Extra dig, because I'm sure every pile of dirt is going to have a mole in it now, and because I see this fucking skeleton over here, he's being a cock. Die. What the he Oh god, it's one of these. Nope, ignored. Just not even gonna bother with it. Yep, yeah, fuck you. Oh, that was that was actually really short. I I didn't actually expect that I thought that one was gonna be a lot. Yeah. I thought there was gonna be more screens to that one. Uh alright, Treasure Knight stage. It's an interesting one. Like it's a water stage, so if you've played any NES games like like the Mega Man series that have water levels in them, you'll kind of know what to expect, which is like an abnormally high jump when you're underwater, which is which is kind of neat. Like it, it makes uh, for more interesting levels and stuff. But at the same time, it also makes for a lot of pits and a lot of instant death fights, which are the bane of my fucking existence. I goddamn hate them. All right, that pit right there is for the uh, the triple pond uh, refill. So if you already still have both your chalices full, don't even worry about it. Focus more on the treasure. Yeah, treasure. Uh, this little shell dude right here, you actually need to make use of. So make sure you break them like around there and then fling them up that way, because you're looking to open up that ladder right there. Done. The only way up here is to use that shell guy. If you miss him and fling him into a pit or something, you're bummed. You you can't get in here, as far as I can tell. So don't. I don't just. It's only for some treasure, but if you're playing this game, you're you're going for treasure. I mean, why would you not, right? There we go. So just be careful. That's that's the bottom line. The new knight for the level. He uh, he does throw a lot of anchors, which is the new the dungeon item for this level. They kind of operate similar to like Castlevania axes, if you've ever played through one of those. But I don't know, they're handy for one or two moments in the game, but overall, not one of the more useful items that I found. Jesus, that was close. I hate the spikes in this fucking stage. It's, it's just too easy to get your stupid ass killed on something, and just trying to do a simple jump. That's why I just abuse the phase locket to an obscene degree in this level. I, I don't even care. I burn out my magic like crazy fast, but it's not worth the headache if you fucking get killed. Especially when you're trying to do the no checkpoint thing, which is what I'm doing. Because you make one mistake right near the end, like the last room of the fucking level, and suddenly, oh, you're out. And that. So, and you have to go all the way back to the start. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, granted, I'm not complaining that there is instant death spikes in a in a in an NES era style of game. That would be stupid. I'm complaining that well, I'm complaining about a water level basically. I'm not a big fan of water levels to begin with. So, okay, you disappear and you die. Oh, god damn! I fell for that. I, I, every time I've done this level, I've fallen for that. Oh no, not you! I hate this guy. Him and his stupid little shield. Okay, good. He's dead. So I can take this. All for me. There we go. Alright, cool. Got the treasure. Still doing okay. Alright, these pink eel guys here can only be killed when you attack their head. Be aware of that. So annoying. You're all... Fucking annoying. Sorry, I'm, I'm not a big fan of water levels in general, but I'm more not a fan of desert levels, so I guess it could be worse, because I don't think there was a desert level in this game. The closest was like the couple of cave levels we had, so. Alright, bounce our way back, turn around, and go fishing. 
So I, I've actually, like, I've accidentally gone up here before, turned around, and walked right off the fucking edge, and I felt like such an idiot. I'm trying to avoid doing that. So if you see me creeping along an edge, that's exactly why. Food. Sweet. I think this was one of the levels that also had, like, the really bad, um... The really bad timing for your... What is the word I'm looking for here? Fuck you. Ah! No! 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 Oh, um, times where you're dropping through a pit and you're still stabbing downwards. I think this is the level where I learned how you have to stop doing that. I think. What was that Mole Knight stage? Now I can't even remember what I did five minutes ago. That's not good. Alright, if you need a refill on magic, you can grab it from right there. And go real carefully and you can manage to avoid all the damage right there. blocks here and work your way down. Alright, we got the mini boss time here, so when you go through this chest here, you actually find out that it's... I believe these are called anglerfish, right? Is the things with like the little trap lights on them? Either way, he kind of operates like um, a certain boss out of Mega Man 2, which if you played through that one, this is the second time I've referenced that game in uh, in this video. He plays like the, uh, the Mecha Dragon from that. I think you only have to get as far as this platform down here before you can actually fight him. Yeah, the chest opens up, and you can start freely attacking it. Just go heavy on your uh, your attacks, and you should be able to uh, take him out before... Oh, shit. Before he becomes too much of a problem. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually clear his little charge attack with a jump, so I always just abuse the phase locket for it. God damn it. it it's better to be safe than sorry, because I would rather not get knocked in the goddamn water. And when you beat him, don't go anywhere, because that chest is going to drop right here for you. So you can pick up Chester. Eels alive! I haven't had a ride like that in ages. I I think I'm gonna be sick. Hey, anyway, I'm about to drop a sick deal on you. See what I did there? Throwing it. It's it's not bad, but it's not like I said. It comes in handy for only a couple parts in this. Not so much everywhere else. I I've only used it once or twice. Although one of the times I did use it, I got the achievement that's tied to it, which was nice. Which I think was kill three enemies while using it. Like, three enemies at once. Take that. And this door over here, which I think has another song in it. Oh god, not you again. I don't like you. Just die. Oh, I lost a gem because of you, you fuck. Uh, there's a shiny bit over there, but I'm pretty sure it's just for a little bit more treasure, so I don't think I'm going to worry about it. Because I don't, I'm not a big fan of the stage to begin with, I just kind of want to get out of it. I know it's not the triple, uh, the triple thing, because that was the very first one of the level. So I'm, I'm kind of safe there. Right. Ignore the Manta Ray, because I don't really need to worry too much about him. He's, he, he's kind of doing his own thing anyway. Alright, these little things here. Just flip the switch like I did before. And you get to ride across. Now this jump up here, I, I don't know why. I always seem to have really bad luck with. And I think it's always because I'm trying to grab those coins. Which is my biggest downfall. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Just run right off the side. Cool. I'm totally okay with that. I just want you to die. I don't want you to fall on that fucking platform. Because then you're going to be a nuisance. Yeah, why don't you follow me over here? See how that works. There. Die, you bastard. That was a stupid way to fight that guy, but I don't care. It got rid of him, and last time I pushed him on the elevator, and the stupid thing pushed me off after that. You have no idea how goddamn annoying that was. There we go. I think this is the last area. We have the anchors on. That's weird. I don't know why I couldn't jump that high all of a sudden. Oh, you know what? I'm not even in the water anymore. That's why. I'm an idiot. Oh, god damn it, you again. I'm just gonna ignore him as best I can. Okay, I guess that's I guess I guess this whole ignoring thing not gonna happen.
This is risky as fuck. Nope, nope, ignored, ignored! Cool. Just die! There we go, got you, fucker. I'm gonna get hit coming out of this, aren't I? Jesus, there was a lot of money in there. You know, I don't even care. There's gonna, there's gonna be a health before I finish this. Oh, you wanna play that game? Charged attack. Go ahead, block some more. There. Bane of your fucking existence, bro. Uh, right. Okay. Now, what's the gag here? Flick the shit out of these, I guess? Oh, there's my choking. Really? Just get out of my way! Come on! You're taking forever. Boss time? Not boss time. Oh, it's this part. Yeah. You just kind of want to stay onto the front of this thing so you don't get pushed off when you can wail on this. And I think I'm at the boss? Yes, I should be at the boss now. Which is good, because the boss is actually the easiest part of the whole bloody stage. Now, you can either abuse the phase locket or the anchor against this guy. I just stick with the locket for more defense. My gems, my vessel, my ocean, your very presence tarnishes. Who are you to lay claim to the seed itself? Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight. Your hands are no less dirty. Even now, others are paying for your avarice. Let us duel, winner take all. Come at me, bro. Your anchor ain't got nothing. Because my down stab. All right, now he'll start making a lot of shockwaves with his little uh, cannon arm and also attack up quite a bit too. When he goes to do that, he'll hit in three directions as you just saw there. I'm terrible at giving boss strategy simply because all I do is just go full aggro against the guys. But look at this, look at this. He is almost already dead now. Nope, don't even care, not gonna open that. And now you're dead. Anchor! Yeah, I, I'm terrible with the boss strategies because it's like, my boss strategy, kill him. No strategy, kill that fool. That's the plan. I think, yeah, I should have another dream scene here. Simply because there's a chest there and usually those always come alongside a dream scene. So, not off to sleep here. And I think, yeah. Yes, all right, okay, let's see if I can do this without screwing it up by bouncing off a guy. After I tell you to bounce off a guy. Because that was counterintuitive. Really? I thought, it was, I, I thought that attack was going to do it for sure. Give me the gems, you fucks. Give me the gems. I'll get you! Yes, okay, I got her that time. Good. I still don't know if that actually does anything. But either way, if we're doing all of that, we get some more money and another health coupon. Uh, I don't care if they're called something else, I'm calling them a health coupon, and that's what they're gonna be fucking called. Sweet. Although that lock was more or less pointless. I mean, we could just go around because we'd be Plague Knight already. Oh, there's another encounter with the Black Knight over there too. All right, so that means I've got a couple of random, I've got one optional dungeon, the Black Knight over there, and I've got some stuff to hand in. So all of that will be captured in the next episode. So in the meantime, as always, leave me a rate, comment, or subscribe, anything you want there, and I'll be back with some more Shovel Knight. Spiral Sigil, out.